A couple weeks ago, Adopt-A-Bunny Rabbit Rescue was called into a severe bunny neglect case where two babies were found in a home with a splayed leg deformity. This is how we brought them back to life. Hello. I'm really excited to see you, but also we have a pretty sad situation on our hands. So, what, who do we have here today? We have two little ones that are adorable. Oh my goodness. But they are not 100%. Yeah. Well, let's get them upstairs. All right. And then do you smell, Who's do you there, smell the babies? Who's in there? Who is that? Oh, she's being very shy right now. So what's, what's the situation with these guys? So I was looking at my next door app and there was a girl that posted bunnies for sale online, about $10 a piece. And I wrote to her and I said, please don't sell them for $10 a piece because there's people who at that price will buy them to feed the, to their snake as, as a live food. And she has one mother that has been getting pregnant over and over again and giving birth to either stillborn or babies that are deformed or uh, premature. And when I got there, I saw that the babies, she had originally told me they were paralyzed because they weren't moving well but they weren't paralyzed they were actually splay legged bunnies born that way at that point I just knew I had to take them in and get them out of there so there would not be any more pregnancies well I'm really excited to foster these little guys I I've never really dealt with splayed legged bunnies before so you so they were born this way they didn't become splayed over time right they were born this way it, it I don't know why you ready Lenny Ready. You ready for some house guests? And so I, we're setting them up in the bathroom, right? I brought a couple of these because you might have to change them once a day. Do they need to? They need to be in a in a separate room from Lennon. Yeah, I would, right? Yeah, because she'll be, she can jump over that gate. It's only. Oh right, right, right. Do you smell the babies? What are you doing? What are you doing, Leonard? There you go. Say, I'm the cutest. I'm the cutest. Look at that face. Oh, look at that face. Well, this one's enjoying the hay. We're not even going to use a litter box because it's just going to be too hard for them to get in and out. He gets messier. You can see I have to clean him with uh, water because see how it gets really stuck on here and I don't want to pull it off and hurt him too much. So. I can pull some off, but the so rest I'm going to have to why wash. Why does it get some? Because they can't clean them. Yeah, this is the cecotropes, and they're not eating their cecotropes, which is not a good thing. There we go. Are those like, why are they bald around there? Um, partially um, because I've had to cut the hair uh, because it was so bad. When I first got this bunny, he had poop, hard poop stuck all over his entire bottom. He was literally peeing into the poop, and it was going back and got an infection in the genitals. And so I had to sh almost like shave him to get all of that off of him initially. So if people want to foster a bunny from Adopt a Bunny Rabbit, what do they need to do? They would need to email me and they can email bunnygroomer at gmail.com and just let me know they're interested in fostering and then we, make, we have a meeting and we meet together to talk about what that entails. So I'll link everything in the description below, guys, if you're interested in fostering for adoptabunnyrabbit.org. So I'll keep these bunnies in tip-top shape until they have to go to their new home. So I'm checking on the bunnies. It's the afternoon, so they are totally wiped out, but they seem very relaxed, and I think they're kind of sleeping a little bit. As you can see, they have done <laughs> a number on this place already. They've pooped everywhere. We took out the litter box. 
because it's just gonna be easier for them to not have one. And I'm gonna give them some more pellets because they're still babies. So I'm just sprinkling that right there for them. So I did some research as well, and I read that they feel really comfortable if they have like a little pillow for support. So I'm gonna go see if I can find little pillows for them. she put their own legs on the pillow like that so if you have splayed leg bunnies guys it is good to provide them with support because otherwise they're putting a lot of pressure on their joints and sleeping uncomfortably oh we'll just say they we'll make them non-binary since it's too early to tell their sex <laughs> but they look so freaking cute they're just like falling asleep you guys it is the most adorable thing oh i kind of want to name this one mermaid and that one sleepy because that one is always sleepy and mermaid always just wants to hop around but it kind of looks like they're swimming in a way when they do it so i kind of think mermaid is very fitting <laughs> So while I was at Target, I picked up a cat scratcher for Lennon because she's obsessed with these. You want to see your toy bubbies? You're going to get straight to work. Straight to your bun instruction. Good morning to the baby. Still enjoying that bed. How cute. And we have to totally clean this place up. This is looking crazy right now. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up these babies. As you can see, they have a bunch of poop and stuff like matted on their fur and their hind legs and their bum. And if you let this get out of hand, it can be very painful for them. It can become very unsanitary and then it'll be even more difficult to remove down the line so you want to do this daily with special needs buns now as you know bunnies should not be bathed or submerged in water but when it comes to bunnies like this who have no use of their legs basically they cannot clean themselves they're not flexible enough etc they need help and so in this scenario um, it is crucial to clean them up so I'm gonna do that you can see the poop just like caked on them okay let's put you back down looking brand spanking new so we're gonna do the same thing for sleepy i know i know it hurts now they are a bit raw and they've got some bald spots because they were so dirty and mattified when Vicky first got them that their fur had to be kind of cut off a little bit. You guys, I just had to show you how Oh my guys, curled up. Like 
Vicky said, this is actually a waterproof pad. Even though these bunnies are a little harder to take care of than a perfectly abled rabbit, they are just as deserving of love, affection, pets. I'm so glad that they have each other though and that, you know, they're bonded and they can just rely on each other. It's really cute. So yeah, even special needs buns can be bonded. Okay, so this is what they look like today. It's messy up in here. We've got to get these babies clean before I take them back to Vicky. Yep, you are really dirty. Okay. Yeah, it's no fun, it's no fun. But look, nice and clean now. Nice and clean. Okay, so these guys are going back to Vicky today. They are being handed off to Bunny Bunch. Um, this is a different rescue in the LA area and they actually specialize in splayed leg bunnies over there So this is such a miracle for them to have found this home for the time being at least so in terms of splayed legs It is a deformity a physical disability whatever you want to call it and basically what splayed legs are when the bunny lacks connective tissue and so they have an inability to adduct their legs which then results in the legs being extended either to a 45 or 90 degree angle outward basically there's one of two ways that a bunny can acquire this and it's either genetic so hereditary through the parents or they can develop it later on in their adult life if they don't have access to proper flooring or housing where their limbs are not allowed to develop properly. Vicky does believe this to be genetic. Splayed leg bunnies can be potty trained. They just need a low sided litter box. Obviously these babies are not potty trained because they're only a month old and so they haven't even been spayed or neutered yet. The, the priority with them currently was just getting them out of that really bad situation that they were in because it was a matter of life and death, basically. So now hopefully in their future home, they can be potty trained, they can get spayed and neutered and go on to live, again, fairly normal lives. Now, is there a cure for splayed legs? Currently, no. Treatments is basically supportive care at home. And so, you know, providing them with little blankies and pillows and everything that they need. Sometimes they can get braces made. I don't think the wheelchairs really apply to this situation because that's more for, for missing limbs and it would be quite difficult for them to navigate that. But I thought that this video was really important to make because I've never really made a video on, you know, special needs bunnies and the importance of taking care of them because there's so many out there that cannot find homes. Like they are just stuck in the shelters, stuck at the rescues, nobody wants to adopt them and it's really, really sad. And as you can see, they can live, you know, fairly healthy and normal lives. I mean, these guys do not even know that they have this condition. This is just normal to them. And you know, they're not in pain or anything. They've just gone about living their lives the way that they should. It's, it's really beautiful. They don't know that they're different. They get around just fine kind of doing the doggy paddle. At the shelters, bunnies like these get put down. They get euthanized and it's really, really sad. So I really, really want to encourage you guys to look into adopting or fostering special needs buns. You know, their diet isn't any different. They, they're doing just fine. They're doing just fine. I feel really grateful that I was able to foster them because I learned so much during my time with them. And Lennon's been really good. She's been so sweet and curious. Like she doesn't want to go near them actually. She's very um, almost coy, I would say. They don't have any hormones right now. So she doesn't feel territorial or anything. I think she's just a little confused. But anyway guys, um, please donate. Um, any little amount helps for the rescues. And I will link all the information about these guys below. I'll include information about splayed legs, 
And yeah, hopefully you guys were able to learn a little bit through this too.